Hello everyone, my name is Sia, Sia Julie. Yeah, I've never posted like content on this YouTube page, so I decided to just post something like a car rent. Like I'm in a car and I'm talking, so it's a car rent. Yeah, so what I'll be talking about, it's nothing in particular though. A bunch of I don't know a lot of stuff but since I sold cars so I'll talk about cars since I've been selling cars and I know like um, a thing or two about cars so what I'll be talking about today is when you buy a car like your first like when you're excited and you know that you're gonna whip like your own whip like you're gonna be like cool and shit driving around in your own car now the excitement dies down once you realize what you're going to pay like how much is the installment of the car like the amount you're gonna pay monthly so yeah this is something to help those people who actually do need help when they buy their first new car probably someone will see this video and listen to it and probably it will help them this is something that yeah not a lot of like salespeople are going to tell you that dealerships aim to make the most money out of a, a deal like any deal as people you come in and you actually know that you're being swindled but they're gonna sell you dreams like the car is clean low mileage everything like yeah we tell you the car smells fresh and everything like it depends on you like who are you we first read like the person you are body language and everything and then we see like how we can manage to like sell you the car so installment wise guys there's no car that's a 2019 or 2020 that's cheap cars that are 2019 or 2020 go for like 200,000 and 200,000 you calculate the installment like this for every like 10,000 the installment is 200 for every hundred thousand the installment is two thousand so if the car is two hundred thousand plus the bank's interest the installment is going to be four thousand some change that's on the car loan without insurance or tracker and once you install a tracker a tracker is probably going to be like 300 i think a live tracker where you can see your car where it is is around 300 some change and insurance insurance all the adverts you see on tv are bait ads ads are gonna like tell you you're gonna pay 499 that's not true like we like like our age the guys who buy cars these days we pay out of our asses for insurance because our driver's licenses are fairly new so if your driver's license is not older than let's say five to ten years on a polo you're looking to pay a thousand some change one thousand two hundred the least one thousand four hundred the most so insurance is kind of expensive like on new cars depending on where you stay like where your car is parked and where you work they judge you based on different criteria like they know like what they judge you on but it's quite expensive it's not cheap it's something that dealerships will never tell you and these days dealerships just add like a residual a residual is a balloon payment without you knowing so you see your installment is okay but you'll be paying for about 84 months 
for your car. So these things before you go in, you have to know about. And there's extras when it comes to a car, when you're buying a car. There's roadworthy, licensing and registration, scratch and dent, some car warranty. They add those like extras. Before you sign, you should check the extras because sometimes the extras alone, let's say the car is 200,000, the extras alone can make about 30,000. And if you sign because you're excited, you're gonna miss that and you're gonna find yourself paying out your ass for that car. So, hey guys, it's, it's, a, it's a hard world when it comes to buying cars. Like, you're excited and all, but you have to be a critical thinker. You have to look at a lot of things. So, buying a second-hand car. Second-hand cars, I have nothing against them. I actually love second-hand cars. It's just that you have to know where to look. We buy cars came into the market I think 20, 2017 or so but that's when we like started seeing it 2018 yeah 2018 when uh, like dealerships started feeling the pressure We buy cars has cars online you can like buy cars if you're buying pizza but the problem with their site is that uh not their site oh their cars they don't clean their cars they sell you cars as if you are a dealer who's buying a car that you're gonna fix and people want a car that they can just get in and drive the concept of selling cars online is it's out of this world because it hasn't been tapped like in SA are they doing it like they the only one like they're the only company running with it yeah dealerships have websites and everything but their cars are reasonably priced but now here's something else they have a category there's category a and there's category b so cars that are category a are cars that are a in condition and you can return them if they had a problem the problem the problem like the problem of the car you noticed it before you drove off the showroom so there's also T's and C's and category B <laughs> oh category B guys yo it's terrible don't go for it category B you cannot return the car even if it was leaking oil when you drove off that's your car. You fucked up. It's your. You, it's yours. You gotta keep the car. Shed. Shed. It's bad. But yeah, I saw most of their cars like Mercedes Benz. Ah, oh, flip. Mercedes. Mercedes. BMWs. Like all these cars, people like to go for because they were the flags. Like category B, man. So you cannot return the car if it gives you shit issues yeah not that they don't have good cars but most of their cars they can be really be so bruh they cutting their tires like before they even make a sale and i understand that they also have decra like you can also check um decra before you purchase the car like the the decra certificate of the car and you see the issues before you buy the car People who buy cars don't know shit about cars, bruh. So people don't want to buy a car that's going to stall and give them more issues because if a car stalls and you continue driving the car or it leaks oil and you continue driving the car, more things are breaking, like, it's getting more fucked up. So their concept, bruh, their prices are awesome because their prices are close to, like, um the resale value of the car i've been checking their cars the cars some look good until you see the seats they don't clean the seats in it excuse me which is something they should do because if you're selling something you should just clean the seats if they would just fix their cars and sell it for the amount that they want like if they fix it for about 5k they should add that 5k to the price of the car 
they would like sell a lot of cars yeah people so let me cut it short because it's been 10 minutes and this is my car rent my name is Sia and please like comment and share if you would like to see more content from me thank you